Hey, good morning, good morning to all of our parents. We want to tell you that right now is the time, not for you, but for our youth. So we're calling all VIP youth and our kids, no yep. matter your age, come to the screen right now. Listen, we have an awesome word for you. But before we get started, we got to get all the energy and all the wiggles out so we can make sure that you're paying attention. Pastor Carlos, can you give us a countdown? Hey, we're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to count down. So do what Pastor Jordan does starting now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> all right. We got all the wiggles out. Woo. Now it's time to learn. Hey, so guys, guess what? We are learning about the children of Israel, and they are coming out of Egypt. Do you remember, like, the kids in Egypt? They were slaves. Like, how do you do slaves? Like, slaves. Kind of chained up. Yeah, yeah. So get yes, over sir. here. Jordan, yep. pick those bricks up off the ground. Get more bricks. Get more hay. Do this. Whoosh. Do something else. They were slaves. And so God heard from heaven and he said, I don't want my children to be slaves anymore. And so he sends Moses over. He says, uh, Pharaoh. Yes. Let my people go. No. Pharaoh. Yes. Let my people go. No. Is this dude not listening to me? Pharaoh. Yes. Let my people go. No. All right, so I'm going to plague you guys with frogs. I'm going to kill your children. What? I'm going to turn the river into blood. Are those the I'm ten gonna, plagues? These are the ten plagues that happened to them because Pharaoh would not listen. So when you're at home, you're not listening to your parents. <laughs> it's going to be bad for Make you. Make sure you listen. You better listen to your parents. But hey, when he he so he opened up the, the Red Sea. Finally, God That's gave it. him a plan. He said, hey, I want you to get the Israelites, millions of people, and I want you to get them, and I want you to go to the water. So he gets them. And uh, they go out to the water, and then Moses has a staff. And this is what a staff looks like. This is a, a modern-day staff. He gets the staff, and he <laughs> raises the staff up like this. And then the waters, what do they do? What happens to the waters? What happened is, is the waters begin to split. But watch this. Doc. A lot of people look at that the waters split. But what if the waters split? How can we walk through the mucky wetness of uh, the ground? But what happened was, is God did a two-part miracle. Okay. He not only split the waters, but he dried up the ocean. Floor. Wow. So the get... So the, what's on the other side? Like, is there like a palace on the other side? Actually, or? what happens is, is they come to what we call the wilderness. Wilderness? Is that like yes, the sir. desert? What's the wilderness? So the wilderness was a barren place. It was a place where they, it wasn't what they were used to. It wasn't their normal uh, thing that they were used to. It's kind of like they had to move into a new norm. So what, what, how can we make that relevant to our VIP youth and our Okay, youth? so have you guys ever been on punishment? Have you guys ever been on in-school suspension? Right or now. either have you all ever been to your grandma or grandparents' house and it's not quite like the city or what you're used to? Or even, have any of you guys ever been on quarantine? Oh, right now. We're <laughs> like, like, right now. This sucks, man. Life sucks. I can't go see my yes, friends anymore. Yes. Nice. That's exactly what the children of Israel experienced. Wow. So they were in the wilderness. And so right now, we're quarantined. So can you talk a little bit about COVID-19? Like, what is COVID-19? Why are people talking? Why can't I go to school? Why can't I play sports? Why can't I do what I used to do? Why is my life like it is now. Right. So let me break this down for you really quickly. So COVID-19, and you've probably heard two different things, COVID-19 and coronavirus, they're really the same thing, but the COVID-19 is the strand. And what happens is, is it's a virus, and this virus, some people uh, have symptoms for it, some people can feel sick, some people can't. But the reason why you see everything shutting down and we're going on quarantine is because in other places, they did not do this, and it got out, and a lot of people died, and a lot of bad things happened. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to prevent that. Ah. So we want to make sure that we get a handle on it by not getting people to go out and spread it and have each other quarantine and stay in their homes and places. Ah. So that's why you're not in school. That's why we don't have ah. public places. That's why the wondering. NBA and all these things have shut down. Everything is shut down. Man, I'm sick of being in the house, yeah. Pastor Jordan. Bah, bah, bah. This is so terrible. But hey, there's a word for you and there's something that I want you guys to listen. So come closer to the TV. Come, cl Okay, not that close because you're going to mess up with your parents and 
run up. Back up. Yeah, so get, get, your eyes up. Yeah, they mess your eyes up. So get about midway. Okay, sit down, sit down, sit down, okay. sit down real quick. All right, so check this out. So in the wilderness is this place, and I want you to think about like trees, but not really green trees, but okay. trees. I want you to think about like mountains, wow. but they don't really have a whole lot of vegetation on wow. it. It's a, wow. it's really not that pretty, but it's it's okay. Uh, it's kind of healy and it's kind of rocky. Don't really want to be. It's kind of dry. Like where is the water? And so the Israelites are coming out of this place with uh, green trees, with uh, vegetables that you don't like to eat, with fruits and all types of things that they used to have, and a steak and potatoes and cereal, crunch berries. They had all of that there. They had to leave all of that behind, and they had to go into the wilderness because God was about to do a new thing. And so God is about to do a new thing even in your world today. And we want to learn from some of the stories uh, from Exodus. So if you have your Bible, get your Bible. And I want you to look at Exodus 13, yes. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 19. So say it again. 13, 13 14, 15, 17, and 19. 13, 15, 14, 17, 16, 19, 13, 14, 19, 15. It don't matter what you yeah, It don't matter the order. Just read it. So we want to pull out about six things that God was able to do for the Israelites. So number one, the first thing that we see in Exodus chapter 13 is that God gave an angel uh, of God and a pillar of cloud and a fire guarded them at nighttime. So we have clouds okay. and then we have fire. We've got clouds. clouds. We've got Fire. fire. We've got clouds. clouds. We've got fire. What, what did that do, though? That was their protection. Okay. And I want to show you guys what protection looks like. Are you ready? This is what protection looks like. This is this is God. God is is protecting the Israelites, and He's doing it by a cloud, yes. and He's doing it by fire. fire. He's doing it by the and by the. Doing it by the cloud, doing it by the fire. Doing Doing it by by the the cloud, cloud, doing doing it by by the fire. fire. He's going to protect you with the cloud and the fire. Don't play with fire because you'll burn the house down. Please don't. Number two. Number two, what happened was is God used a strong wind to make a path for the Israelites to walk through the sea. And what he did was there is he gave them direction. Direction. I want you to do it like a first down. Direction. direction. God's going to give you the direction. direction. And so your parents are trying to give you direction. That's, That's why it. they tell you to stay out of the refrigerator. That's it. Stop going into the cabinets. Stop eating all of the Rice Krispie yes, treats. Stop eating you. all the cereal. Stop asking your parents every five minutes. Mm. They, God gave them direction. direction. And anytime you believe in God, and anytime you're working with God, if you pray to him and you ask for wisdom, you get down and you say, God, please, please get me out of this house. He will give you direction. Direction. direction, just like he did for the Israelites. He showed them where to go, and they went through the sea, and they went into the wilderness. Now, what else will he do to your enemies? Like, if you got the coronavirus trying to right. come into your household, right. or somebody's trying to break into your house because they don't have anything better else to do, he'll do what? So, because you're on his side, he'll give you the right way, which is direction, and anything against him, he'll misdirect it. He'll tell it that it has to go. And that's what he did. When he when the Egyptians' chariot wheels were made to swerve, the woman was drowned in the sea because God made them go in the other direction. So the Israelites are coming out. They got all of this stuff yes. with them. They got the Jordans on. Yeah. They got the new clothes yeah. on. Uh, they're walking. They went to H&M and got everything. Right, right. They got all the toys from Walmart out of the section. And they're leaving out of this place. And Pharaoh, the one that we said, let my people go. Right. And no. we said, let my people go. Not going to do it. God says, it's time for y'all to go. So he's leaving out and Pharaoh changes his mind and he's chasing the Israelites down like hey wait stop I changed my mind stop 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 I don't want you guys to go and what does he do they get in the water that had a good path for the Israelites and all of a sudden those waters subsided they come sub- back they, sub- they came down and submerged them. and God gave them a milli rock he yes I'm a milli rock in the wrong direction that's true that's it I'm a milli rock I'm a rock I'm a milli rock okay cool listen if you guys are not as hype as us y'all need to get like some sugar on y'all crunch berries or go eat some snacks or something because we're turned up we're turned up the next one is that 
the Israelites, so they're out there in the wilderness. Remember, it's, it's like mountains and yes. like some shrubs. There's not a whole lot of water, and it's tough. And so they're thirsty. They're like, golly, I'm thirsty. Like, man, we ain't got no water in this house, no bottle. They just charge you $26 for a bottle of water at the Shell Station. That's ridiculous. So they're looking for water, and God is showing them this water. And then when they get to this water, they see it, but the water is bitter. Mm. They're like, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's, yeah, nasty. that's nasty. That's nasty. And so Moses, the people are crying out, Moses, why you bring us out here? I was cool with my house. I like my cell phone and my Samsung phone. I have my own room. I have my own TV. And now we out here in all of this mess. Yeah. And, and, and Moses goes back to God. He says, God, the people are crying out. They don't have any water to drink. And then Jesus says, not Jesus. Everybody want to put Jesus in it. God says, get a stick, a wooden stick, throw it into the water. Yes. And he makes the water water that was bitter, he makes it sweet. sweet. So now, you ever had sweet water? You know that flavor yeah, water? They yeah, that's, that's what really they had. Good. God was the, he made that first. He gave them some sweet water to be able to drink. And when God gives you uh, perfection in a water, no, that's not what I meant to say. When he gives your water, makes your water sweet, he, he gives your water it. the ability to be perfect. Perfect. Perfect water. So we got uh, protection. protection. Okay, okay, okay. We got direction. direction. We've got Misdirection, misdirection and perfection. perfection. So when God does something, he's going to do it to perfect it. So no matter if the eggs go bad, if the milk goes bad for the cereal, God has the ability by faith mm -hmm. to perfect what it is to make sure that you have everything that you need. Now, here's the next thing. They were going through the wilderness and they began to get hungry, right? You get thirsty, you get hungry. So what happened was is each and every day, God would send what we call manna, from heaven. Not only did he send, send manna from heaven, but he also would send them quails to eat. So in all those things, he gave them provision, which means the word provide, but we want to use the word perfection, which means that he gave them what they needed. Listen, I'm here today to tell you that no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what they say about the coronavirus, you have everything you need. Why? Because you got God. And that's perfection. This is an SAT word since you guys don't have to take star test this year. It's P U R V E C T I O N. Perfection. It means provision. And it's just a new word because we know that you guys need to keep your mind stimulated. And so we want you guys to have perfection. And so the way that we want you to remember what God will do is we want to give you the same thing what God will give you yes. perfection. He'll make you eat. That food He'll give you, you that perfection. Eat up. And he'll give you eat up, perfection. Eat up, eat up. And then the last one. This is the greatest is that, This one. is the best one. Like, yes. I love this one. Are you ready for this one? Say, I'm ready. <laughs> don't, run, don't run into the walls. Don't run into the walls. The last one, Moses raised his hands. Yes. And, uh. Uh, uh, over the Israelites to because they were at this war. Right. They were they were fighting over this war. And as as Moses raised his hands, uh, God began to speak. And God told them that as long as they were raising their hands, Joshua was down there fighting. So you right. be Joshua. All right. He's fighting. And every time I raise my hands, he's winning. And every time I'm I winning, I'm winning. Down, he's, he's getting knocked out. And then we raise our hands again. I'm winning. And we're winning. And so I, I feel like Moses was doing up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. He was like, oh, I think this thing is working. I'm losing him. And so he held his hands up. And what was happening was Aaron and Ur were his friends that came and held the arms up. And the more that they held his arms up, Joshua was able to win the battle. And so what happens when we get together, we can have a connection. connection. And that's what God wants us it's to do. Important. Even in this time when we have to stay away from each other, we can still connect with our families. We can still connect with our friends via social true. media and also on phones. But we can also connect with God. And when we connect with God, he'll give us wisdom. He'll give us what we're asking for. Yes, and you're not suffering by yourself at home. I know your parents may we're be out together. of the house. I know they, you know, they might not be cooking. They may not have anything. And things may be tough because you normally used to go to school and get your lunch right. or whatever. Right. But I promise you, God is going to give you a way to connect because God is definitely speaking to you. So I want you to take away these six things and I want you guys to be able to, to do the dance. The first one is protection. protection. The second one is direction. direction. The third one is misdirection. The fourth one is perfection. The fifth one is perfection. And then the last one is connection. Now let's see how fast we can do that. All right? One, two, 
Ready? Go. Let's go. For protection. Direction. direction misdirection. misdirection. Perfection. Perfection. Connection. Now you do it. Go ahead. Go. Okay. That's good. Make sure. Good. Miss you got it. You got okay. it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Connection. Oh, you, got you, got it. you got it. You got it. Okay. And if you guys want to make it into a song, uh, it can go a little bit like this. Protection. Protection. Direction. Direction. Misdirection. Direction. Perfection. 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 Connection. Connection. Protection. Protection. Direction. Misdirection. Misdirection. Perfection. Perfection. Connection. Yeah. All right, guys, we are so excited that you were able to join us yes. because we love you, VIP youth. We want you guys to have a great week. We want you guys to make your parents proud, yes. to make your family proud, and to learn. Stop staying up till 2 a.m. Yeah. and stop going to Some bed sleep. late. Yeah. And wake up. Early. That's it. 8 a.m. Get you some schoolwork done. Stay on schedule. You want to be smart and creative. And remember that God is going to give you protection, direction, misdirection, perfection, perfection, and connection. Pastor George is going to pray for you guys as we get ready to get up out of here. Hey, you all, I love you. Do me one big favor. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And bow your heads. Heavenly Father, most gracious God, Father, first of all, we just want to thank you for who you are. We thank you for everything you're doing in these young people's lives, Father, whether uh, you're helping them with uh, things going on with their family, with schoolwork, whatever it may be, Lord God, we just want to thank you for all you're doing. Father, we thank you for your perfection. We thank you for your direction. We thank you for misdirecting the things that don't need to be by us. We thank you for your perfection, Lord God. We thank you for uh, the connections that you have given us. Father, we just thank you for all that you're doing in our lives. Father, I know that right now they may be out of school and away from friends and all these things and some of them may not understand it, but we know one who understands it, that's you. So, Lord Jesus, we just put them in your hands right now. We thank you that you love the little children of the world. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, guys, look, I pray that the Lord bless you, that he keep you, that he causes his face to shine upon you, that he gives you his peace and lifts up his countenance upon you. And remember that there's always a dance that you can do during this season. It goes a little bit like this. Okay, so uh, they told us that we got to don't touch our face, that we got to wash our hands, and if we have to cough, we have to cough in our elbows, and then also that we got to stay two feet away from others. So let's try it. Okay. okay. So it kind of goes like this. Don't wash your face. Oh, excuse me. Don't touch your face. Don't wash your hands. Why am I saying don't? Why am I saying don't? Listen, it's don't touch your face. Wash your hands, cough in your elbows, stay two feet away, try with us, touch your face. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, look, we got a, I keep messing up, but we oh, got, got a video. video. Oh, yeah, check out the you video. guys can watch Real now. Real quick. Hey, kids, I know you're all out there and you're in quarantine for the coronavirus, but do a dance with us really quickly. Remember, so don't touch your face, wash your hands, Cough in your elbows. Stay two feet away. Can you do it? Don't touch your face. Hey, wash your hands. Cough in your elbows. Stay two feet away. There you go. Don't touch your face. You got it. Wash your hands. Cough in your elbows. Stay two feet away. Guys, remember that dance and keep doing it. Wash your elbows. Hey, cough in your elbows. Yeah. Stay two feet away. <laughs>